Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys here to inspire you to be your very best self via hair, fashion, and lifestyle. And we're back with another video. Now this is a video that I have not done before. So honestly y'all, I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> That's why today we gonna start off with some wine. I got this wine from the liquor store down the block, Chateau Saint Michel. And it's a Riesling, it's a sweet Riesling. Riesling is my favorite wine. I'm definitely a white wine kind of girl. Let me know your favorite wines in the comments down below. We're gonna pop this bad boy open and we're gonna get into the video. I actually bought some cute little tools for my wine today that I'm excited to show you all. First, I bought a brand new wine opener. This is what it looks like. And it comes with this piece as well that takes off the material that's on top of the cork. We're gonna use it together. I've never used this before, but it's supposed to be easy breezy. Let me see how this works. All right, so I put this on top, like so, and then I just twist it. Is that what we're doing? Oh, hold on. I think this is like cutting it. Oh, okay, so when you put this on top and you twist it, it cuts it open. Okay, that's cute and it exposes the cork. <laughs> Y'all, this is some, okay, it's something else. I'm getting a little fancy with my wine. So then, now we use this tool right here. Now that this is pressed down like so, I already entered it into the cork, then I just, I think I let go here and then I go like this, right? Oh, oh snap. <laughs> Look, y'all, the cork is now inside of here. That was so easy. Okay, y'all, that was the easiest removal of a cork I've ever experienced. So literally, how do I take this joint out? What am I doing? Do I twist this up? Is that what's happening? Oh, snap, I don't think I'm supposed to do that. I just need to go look at the directions to see how to remove this cork, because it's not, I don't, I don't know. Okay, how'd you do it? you hold it and then you pull it out like that and then that's how it comes out oh thank you i've got this off of amazon so i'll link it down below now the next tool i'm gonna use is this this is so freaking cute i saw this on another youtuber's channel and i was like gotta have it so basically it's a spout and you put it on top of the spout here and then it pours the wine out oh my god let's try it together there is a power button here i think that will assist in yet yeah, the pouring now i'm gonna press the button <gasps> Oh snap, what? Oh my God. Oh my God. I got so excited, got on my computer, hold on. Okay, let's try it again. <gasps> Y'all, I am so impressed by this. What? <laughs> this is so freaking cool. Look at that. <gasps> Y'all gotta cop this. This just took wine drinking to a home of the level for me. I got this from Amazon. I'll link both items down below. I will update y'all. Make sure you check me out on Instagram and on TikTok. Is that your hair? Because I will be sharing more Amazon finds like this one over there. Okay? So yeah, let's get started with this video. I got my wine on deck. Let's take a little swig. Mmm. This is good. This is my type of Riesling. Especially if you like a sweeter Riesling. I'm here for this. All right, y'all, so I've been wanting to do this video for a few months now. I've been a little bit nervous because I don't normally do commentary like this, but I was like, you know what? I've been on this wig break. I'm almost ready to get back into lace fronts and frontals again, but there's just a few things that I'm not bringing with me in 2022. A few things that I am ditching in 2022, and y'all may want to ditch them too. Be mindful, this is my personal opinion. If you feel offended by anything I say in this video, Feel free to drop it in the comments. Let's chit chat about it. Let's have some discourse. I would also love to hear what are some of your wig trends that you're ditching in this new year. It's an open forum, but be respectful in the comments. Don't get crazy. We are all entitled to our own respectful opinion on this channel. Also, I was curious to see if anybody was talking about wig trends because I was like, Huh, is it just me? And I noticed that my girl Jayla, AKA Jay Chanelli, she did a video on hair trends, like a broader spectrum. Jayla, if you're watching this, I didn't watch your video yet because I didn't wanna, you know, have any type of outside opinions possibly affecting mine. But now that I've done this video, I'm definitely watching yours afterwards. And y'all should check her out too. She does hair content, really good content. So I'll link her video in the description box. All right, so the first wig trend I'm ditching in 2022. Let me just hold up the bottle. Who, who's still using got to be glue free spray in 2022? Raise your hand. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I feel like this joint had the girls in a chokehold from 2015 
Let me see, because I started wearing wigs in 2015. From that point onward, this was in everybody's video, including mine. You can look back at some of my past videos, and I was right there with the girl spraying this on because it was just, at the time, the best way to adhere your wigs, you know? I don't know who started this, but it was a great idea at the time. But like all great things, time passes, things evolve, things change. And better products have come out since this free spray. I think the two things that really bothered me about this free spray is that I noticed that when drying down, it would leave like a white cast, especially if you use too much. And for my beginner wig wearers, you probably know what I'm talking about because it's easy to OD on the free spray. But also, I realized the hold wasn't that great like it was good at the time but let me go work out or let me be at a festival for 10 hours and my lace is lifting but at the time there was nothing else i was really using but then alternatives started coming out i think it was 2020 when i tried the bedhead spray i like that spray i still have that spray i haven't used it in a while but i still have it but i will say my ultimate favorite spray right now is by even New York. If you don't have this spray in your collection, honey, get it. The link is down below, add it to your cart. So this spray actually has three different holds. There's a yellow bottle, which has like the, the normal hold, and then the red is like medium, and this is the extreme hold, the black bottle, which came out some months ago. I'm here for it. The hold is excellent, and I don't get that white residue that I would get with this free spray right here. So, out with the old, in with the new. <laughs> Go grab this, thank me later if you haven't already. If you've already tried this by Eben, let your girls know in the comments. It says fast drying, no residue, 20 times hold for lace. I feel like the claims are true. The rumors are true. So, boo, go grab this. Now please note that for all the products that I mentioned in this video, they are linked in my description box down below. I take a lot of time to make sure my description box is updated for y'all. If I do forget anything, of course, y'all can let me know in the comments. Y'all do that very well. But everything, like even what I'm wearing, my robe that I'm wearing, which I love, my hair. Yes, y'all, this is not my hair. This is a ponytail, okay? And this thing looks damn good. <laughs> this is why I've been on a wig break rocking these natural hairstyles. I did a video on this ponytail for $20 Tuesday, like two weeks ago, so definitely check that video out. You'll see some other ponytails there that are bomb and look so freaking natural. But yeah, I'll leave the direct link for this on Amazon. This is the 12 inch. It went viral on TikTok and y'all sold that shit out. But there is an alternative vendor selling the same style. I bought it in the 10 inch. I haven't tried it yet, but more ponytails are coming in case you're wondering. I'll leave all the links down below so you can check it out. All right, for the next big trend I'm ditching in 2022, and this is a trend that you may not know is a trend, but honey, I can't keep leaving my braids in for like two months at a time under my wigs. Like, I just can't. I just can't. And I know I'm not the only one that does this. Drop a comment if this is you. You get your hair braided, you braid it yourself, you're wearing your wigs. Two weeks pass by, you're oiling your scalp, you're doing your thing. Four weeks pass, six weeks pass, and you know, you're just caught up in everyday life and you just don't take the braids out. I mean, it sounds terrible, but this has been my reality. I'm coming clean, I do it. But it is wreaking havoc on my natural hair. And the thing is, I don't wanna ever feel dependent on wigs where it could be prevented. It's one thing if you have a condition, you know, where you lose hair, that's not your fault, you can't help that. But if I am experiencing breakage on my hair due to negligence, that's a freaking problem. Y'all, don't be like me. Take care of your hair under your wigs. I'm so lucky I still have hair underneath this ponytail <laughs> because I haven't been treating my natural hair right. But you know what? In 2022, I have recommitted myself to my natural hair. I realized that I need to just wear my hair in a stretched state more often because it's easier for me to take care of my hair that way. But in the interim, I can't, I need to take these braids out. I can't, I just can't do it. And my, I get my hair braided at a hair salon because I don't like doing it myself. And my stylist, God bless Clara, she be like, girl, I told you don't be, don't, like, why are you, you got split ends now. You gotta trim your hair again. You gotta cut your hair again. Last time I went, I just got a trim a few months ago. I have to get a trim again because I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do with my natural hair. And that's not cool, especially, you know, I have nice hair. I have a good amount of hair. I shouldn't be seeing breakage 
at all. So let's leave that trend in the past. 2022 moving forward we are taking care of our natural hair underneath our wigs the next time i do my ponytail video you are going to see my natural hair and you're going to see how i put it up into my ponytail so make sure you tune in to 20 dollar tuesday because that's the next time i will showcase that video all right y'all next wig trend that i'm ditching in 2022 Whew. okay does this apply to me i don't know but let's just let's just really be mindful of the leave out the leave out that does not blend okay maybe you guys didn't know this was a trend but i see it i've been seeing people with their leave out looking like it needed to be put back in okay i'm sure i have been guilty at some point too i did do a video on a U part wig by outre that i loved but my natural hair reverts back so quickly when I straighten it myself. Like if I go to a salon, it lasts a lot longer. And so it was reverting a little bit and I, I still went out the house like that. I'm sure somebody was looking like, oh girl, I think I can see, you know. You know, I just don't want to be that person and I don't want you to be that person either. Let's make sure that if we are wearing wigs with leave out, that they are properly blended. And I know for me, wearing wigs that mimic my natural hair texture you know that alleviates that problem you're not gonna see me a type 4 baddie wearing type 2 U parts like that's just not no <laughs> I don't do silky hair with my natural hair I don't like straightening my natural hair like that anyways I don't like putting that much heat on my hair so yeah that's not mm -mm. this right here is a no we're not doing this in 2022 if this has been you, we forgive you. Let's leave it in the past. Let's move on. All right, y'all. The next wig trend that I'm dishing in 2022 is not a wig trend that I have participated in, but I see a lot of y'all doing it. I see a lot of y'all doing it on the YT. Let, let's just talk about the V parts, okay? The V parts with no leave out. I get it. Right now, the girls are loving the V parts because it's easy. But when you wear it with no leave out, it's it's evident. The track is showing. The weft is showing. It just doesn't look good to me. So, can we just stop? <laughs> can we please just leave a little a little sliver of hair out? Can we? Because I just think it looks a lot better. My girl XOXO Sheba, every time she speaks about this on TikTok, I just chuckle and smile because I agree with her. I just feel like it looks a lot better with the tiniest bit of leave out and it doesn't require a lot. But I gotta give it up to my girl Kyra Sean. okay? She has a video, I'm gonna link it down below because I was impressed. She has a video where she did like crochet and it looked hella natural and she had no hair out. I was like, <laughs> y'all already know i love me some kai that's my best friend go check out kai's video if you do feel like you don't want to have no hair out at all maybe you deal with hair that's thinning in the crown area please check out her video she did an excellent job outside of that if you can't do what she did please leave some leave out or don't do the v part wig at all like that's just that's just how i feel about it all right y'all so next on the list of wig trends that I'm ditching in 2022 or that y'all should consider ditching in 2022. I don't know how y'all gonna feel about this one, but I am so tired of seeing people put the word honest in their wig review titles. I, I, I like literally I could search on YouTube right now, type in honest wig reviews, honest wig review. Oh my God, so honest. Not sponsored, unsponsored, honest, honest, honest. Okay, so is the rest of your content dishonest? It just puts a bad taste in my mouth because one, being an influencer, a content creator that prides herself on her integrity, on bringing y'all the real deal, on the truth, whether I like a product, whether I like a wig or not, it really grinds my gears when people feel like we're being dishonest. Now, look, I understand that some of y'all have been burned there have been people that have lied to you in the past or have kind of omitted the truth about certain things and they were paid to do it so you feel like oh 
If a bitch is getting paid out here, then you're not going to get the real tea. Well, if you're new to this channel, I'm going to let you know right now that is definitely not the case. Regardless of whether something is sponsored or not, people that are here regularly know that I'm here to deliver the truth to you all whether it's packaged neatly or not. I just feel like when you're using the, the word honest in your titles, video after video after video, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> and I guess people use it because honest is probably a buzzword and you know, it'll gain traction when it comes to YouTube. For those who are not content creators, titles are extremely important on YouTube. It's how it grabs your attention, titles and the thumbnails together. That's how we get y'all to click on our videos. So I think using the word honest has become a buzzword, but the implications behind it really bother me. I don't like people thinking that because I decide to work with a company, and they pay me for it that all of a sudden I'm just gonna throw my morals out the window like I just really don't like that <laughs> and I'm sorry if you're one of those people that have been burned by creators who are like that but honey find some new creators to follow okay there's a slew of us out there that will make sure you have the tea so that you don't waste your coin that's just how I feel about it if you're honest I don't feel like you need to constantly say it <laughs> in your titles in your reviews, child, let me just, let me just sit. Let's, speaking of honest, let's get honest about baby hairs. Baby hairs, and this, <laughs> this might cause y'all to want to tussle with me a little bit, and that's okay because I don't mind. Again, the comments are open to have a conversation if you'd like with me or amongst each other. But this is a wig trend that it just bothers me. I don't like 80% of the baby hairs I see out here in the wig streets. And 80% is a high number. And I think I'm being generous when I say that. It might be 90%. <laughs> it's not something I talk about. I think those who watch my tutorials just probably notice that I don't do baby hairs. But I I'm just trying to understand right so when you do the baby hairs you are doing it for like a style right I get it but I just feel like it's too much baby hairs to me implies something that's very like fine and sparse because traditionally baby hairs are sparse hairs right but I feel like the girls are out here putting full bangs and swooping it across their forehead and calling it baby hairs and I'm just <laughs> I just don't get it I just don't I just don't get it and I don't think I want to get it some people when they do the baby hairs it looks a little artistic it kind of gives me like Josephine Baker with little swoops and doopsy doops I can kind of get with those and then there are other people who do baby hairs that are very like sparse and they look like natural. But I learned like just last year that people use baby hairs to cover up their lace. And I, I don't know, that kind of confuses me because in my head I'm just like, you're making it look worse. <laughs> Maybe just get something that has better lace. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just don't feel like baby hairs is a solution to bad lace, you know. Find me in the comments if y'all want to, but that's just how I feel about it. If I were to do baby hairs, I would want them to be as light as possible because I just think that looks more natural. That's just me. Some of y'all are here. Y'all want to be on swim in the pool and I'm just not <laughs> trying to have my baby hairs swimming. <laughs> off my stool yeah to each his own but that's something that's been on my chest for a while and I, I just be like girl you know who does baby hairs to my liking my boo Kira body by Kira I really like how she does hers because that's just my stylistic preference but yeah let me know how do you feel about the baby hair trend it's been going hard for a long time and I kind of just wish it would end <laughs> You heard it here from me. I just, mm -hmm. I can say more, but I think I should stop right here because this wine is starting to hit, okay? But please, share your thoughts on the baby hair trend down below. What is your preference? Do you like them or do you wish 
they would just lay down and die. Let me know in the comments. This next wig trend has been going hard for a hot minute. I wanna talk about frontals, okay? And is this a wig trend that I'm ditching in 2022? I know y'all have noticed, those who watch me regularly, I have not been wearing frontals this year. I did a U-part wig, right? And I've been doing these ponytails. I've been doing like more natural styles. I will say that no, I'm not ditching frontals in 2022, but I'm peeping something. I see what's happening in the wig streets and it's, it's been happening for a while now. And I will say that people are definitely leaning towards more, I guess you could say just styles that require less work. Styles that give like that sew-in effect without having to worry about laying down a full frontal of lace. I just feel like that is something that's been trending. And I think it honestly started with COVID and the fact that headband wigs became so popular, especially for beginner wig wearers. Once people realize like, wow, I can still wear a wig, protect my hair, and not have to worry about what type of glue to use, tint spray, making it match, because it's, it's a hard thing to do, especially as a beginner it's hard to make a frontal look natural i think so i think once headband wigs started trending and even though it's kind of simmered down now v part wigs are trending again another hairstyle that does not require lace so i just feel like things are shifting a little bit in the wig streets and i wouldn't say that frontals are dead or anything like that i still appreciate a good lace front or a frontal wig i just think that the needs of the girls out here are changing. I think people are craving something that is easier to make look natural, especially if they're new to the wig game. And I just think with a frontal, it doesn't appeal to the needs of quite a few people right now. You let me know if this is something that you've noticed in the wig streets. Please drop your comments. Again, I'm open to the discourse. Let's talk about it. But this is something I've been peeping and I'm not totally mad at it. You know, I like the way that the V parts have been looking. I think when you do have some leave out, I think it looks really good. I think it looks damn good. But yeah, I, I don't think frontals are gonna be disappearing anytime soon. I just, I feel like it's different. I feel like it's not as hardcore as it once was. I don't know what that means for the future of frontals, but th these are just my thoughts. Y'all let me know if you agree or not. All right, the next wig trend <laughs> that I'm ditching in 2022 are harsh color transitions, okay? This is something that I didn't really care about, I think, when I first started wearing wigs. And I'll give you an example here. Here's a wig. This is by Model Model, EV003. Love the wig, beautiful. I don't even know if you can find it anymore now, but the fact that I would just wear like a 1B and then a 27 with no transition whatsoever, that was ridiculous. <laughs> I just don't think it looks good to me anymore. I'm really a fan of a more seamless blend and I will give that to a lot of the companies, Outre, Sensational, Future is equal to. They have done a much better job at creating color blends highlighted blends that look more natural, that look like a professional color job. I just don't like the stark contrast with, you know, dark into light, especially with blondes. With blondes, I think they deserve a softer root. And I actually do have a video where I did a platinum blonde wig and it was Outre Kamalia and I was toning the wig, but I wanted to root it, but I'm not gonna use a dark brown on platinum blonde. I'm just not gonna do that. Can we not do that in 2022? I don't wanna see it anymore. I don't. I just used a very soft, extremely soft brown using um, my tint spray and I worked out well. So that's something that I would like to see dissipate this year. <laughs> okay, next on the wig trends that I would love for us to ditch in 2022. I talked about the harsh color transitions. I wanna talk about the chunky highlights i personally i'm just not a fan of super chunky highlights y'all i like my highlights to be thinner and more blended through so i know right now the skunk stripe you know highlight thing is a trend and i'm just not i'm just not really into it i'm just not into it i haven't seen it in a way where i'm like oh damn that looks good well actually my girl K, aka Taste Pink, she did recently post a video. I haven't watched it yet. She did like a, I think she did watercoloring 
with red and it looked really good in the thumbnail. She might change my mind, but as it stands right now, I'm not really into it. If it just went away, I wouldn't be mad. I'll just say that. <laughs> All right, and last on my list of wig trends that, you know, might have to be ditched this year in 2022. <sighs> wig caps. This is a hard one, y'all, okay? I have been wearing wig caps for like seven years. But I just do not like how drying they are in my hair. My hair like soaks up moisture like a sponge, but it loses it at the same time so easily. I feel like I have to constantly moisturize my hair. And with wig caps, it doesn't help. It's so drying, y'all. I hate it. It's not something I've talked about ever on my channel, but it can't just be me. Does anyone else feel this way about wig caps? I just really wish it was made of a different material. Like, can we do satin? Now mind you, I know that there are satin wig caps, but those are more so made for making wigs, so they're a thicker material. I just need a thin satin material as a wig cap. That's what I need. I'm not gonna make it, can someone else do it? And that way I can share it on my channel. <laughs> I would love that. When I say thin, I would want to be thin as pantyhose, like a wig cap, but just not as drying. I, I just need something different other than the material that's on a wig cap. So in the interim, I'm not ditching it yet in 2022, but I'm at the point where I would like to. So yeah, I don't know. Well, some people actually don't even wear wig caps under their wigs. People just, you know, do their braids. But I think I'm so conditioned to wear one, it's hard for me to just have my braids and then put on the wig. I don't know. Ugh, let me know y'all thoughts on this in the comments down below. All right, y'all, those are the 10 wig trends that I'm ditching in 2022. What about you? Which trend did you agree with? Which ones did you disagree with? Or maybe there's something that I didn't mention on my list that you're like, damn, yo, Gladys, like this needs to stop. Down up down below. Remember though, please keep it respectful, okay? Keep it cute because again, we are all entitled to have our own respectful opinion on this channel. But this was fun, I enjoyed this. I actually was thinking about doing a video featuring like my 10 wig trends that I'm loving in 2022. If that's something that you wanna see, let me know in the comments. Also, if you are new here and you made this far, you may as well tap that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Shout out to my premiere party for watching this video with me. I love y'all so much. Remember, if you're interested in this contraption for your wine, if you're trying to live your best bougie life, you can find my Amazon link in the description box down below. Remember that directly supports my channel, so, you know, you can help your girl out. <laughs> and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!